Hello there. I've gotten a lot of requests for a follow-on to the Vambu vs. Prusa comparison I did, but, well, there's not a lot more that I have to say about them. Six months later, with heavy usage, both printers are still working great. I moved the bamboo into the print cave. The Prusa Mark III also lives in the print cave. They're both currently printing. Both printers are still working great. There's been no component failures. I get that most people watching this want me to declare a winner, but I use both printers pretty much equally. Right now I'm using most of my operational printers to make tchotchkes, parts, little handouts. We have our Nova Labs branded rocket engine. For our open house that's uh, this Saturday, should be the day after the video comes out. Sorry tickets are sold out, but you know, go to novo-labs.org and you can check out the makerspace in Fairfax City, Virginia. Alright, go to the link below. The Prusa remains the most reliable, most set it and forget it printer. I've got Octoprint installed in Mark III, several spare beds so I can fire off a print from my computer in the other room, wander over to change the bed, and I barely will bother to watch the first layer anymore. It is slower than the bamboo, but when I'm making a plate of small objects, the auto level ensures that they all stick. No muss, no fuss. That's one of the weaknesses of bamboo. Weakness of Prusa. You might notice I'm bypassing the MMU. I have spent a couple tries trying to improve the MMU, but when they have the bamboo sitting right over here, The MMU, I don't have a huge amount of motivation to work on Prusa's implementation of it. Hey. Gotta go back to the Prusa. Forgot to say something. Uh, I'll get tired of this soon enough, don't worry about it. I do use the Prusa for flexible materials. This is a trachea we printed for the local fire department. Literally that. It's like in practice doing tracheotomies. Pretty cool. But for anything that needs multiple materials, I'll go straight to the bamboo. The bamboo MMU you can sort of handle the flexible material, but it's a bit of a pain and I've had a lot more feed failures, so I just kind of didn't bother with it. It's not a really a choice between which printer to buy for me, since they're obviously both bought and paid for. It's which am I going to use for the job, what am I going to use day to day. The Bamboo's multi-material remains the biggest selling point for me. Although, ironically, it's disabled now too because this spool won't fit in there. And it is printing off this, so you shouldn't be really doing this, but it's also printing polycarbonate. Doing a fairly nice job. So, yeah. Because the second biggest selling part of the bamboo X1 carbon model is that it has all the hard materials and a heated chamber. Take a close look. This is not the fastest speed, but you can see we're doing quite a nice job. This is actually not parts for the open house, it's parts for the Baltimore Kinetic Sculpture Race which is in two months up in Baltimore. That was probably in line. However, the Bamboo's failed to make plates of small parts. If you try and line up a bunch of little things, the odds of a failure on one of them is high enough that I've basically stopped asking. If I need that, I'm going to use Brucia. One of many. Now, if you've already decided which printer you want, that's excellent. You've made the right choice. Really. And it's okay to have a different decision than me. I'm a 3D printing enthusiast. I enjoy the machines. And I've found the capacity to enjoy different brands, different models. I really like this one because I designed it myself. A little biased, but... It's not as good as the Mark III. It's not as good as the Bamboo either. Bigger, though. It's still nice. Still use it. Because it still works. Printer down here collecting dust. Bad horse. Tried to make the gantry move, playing with the belt. 
and really it's just not rigid enough for experimentation. It's collecting dust. This is a bad printer. The next thing I'm going to do with it is dismantle it and use the parts for a better one. When I got the time. These guys though, the Mark III Yak in the shop, are printing strong. If you haven't decided what printer to buy, and especially if you're looking for your first 3D printer, I'd recommend the printer I use most often, which are these little Crusoe Minis. Mine are generally kitted out with Octoprint, which makes them super convenient. Design them to be rare, spit it right back. But the main reason I use my Minis first is because of the print shift part ejectors that I added. These guys, when they're done printing, will spit their part out and be ready to print again. See, they already have other rockets. I've generally upgraded mine with Bontech or Orber extruders. These two are both Bontech. Oh, no, this one's stock. Still have a stock one. Who knew? I'll get to it. <laughs> Which, like one with a uh, hard nozzle, lets them print all materials. It's very easy to throw them in a box, and they're extremely portable. This guy drove to frickin' Indiana, so that'd be a tiny bit cooler at Murph. Because, you know, I love to bring my giant printers, but. They just don't travel as well. Even without the experimental mods, though, you can stack a couple minis in the space of a Prusa Mark III or the Bamboo X1 Carbon takes up. Now, the Bamboo is laser focused on speed, but printing two things at the same time slowly fits my lifestyle a lot better than printing two things quickly but sequentially. I can start both, check that the first layers are good, and go outside and play with my kids. The Hard ejection fits it even better because I can just be like, hey, keep rolling. Slow and steady wins the race. Your work style might be different. And the bamboo speed have saved deadlines for me already. It's a huge plus. Just not the selling point that is, you know, the only selling point. If you have 3D printers already and you're thinking about adding a bamboo or a Prusa Mark III, the real question you should ask is which capability is the printer bringing to you that's worth the sticker price. There are cheaper multi-material solutions than the Bamboo's MMU, um, Mosaic Palette, there's cheaper printers like, of course, the Minis, or even the Ender 3s. Parallel printing gets your parts a lot faster. There are even faster printers than the Bamboo. There's several companies selling boron kits or even pre-built borons with similar pricing. And those Vorans can add the enraged rabbit carrot feeder for multi-material printing, which is just awesome. I don't have a review of them because I haven't had the time to build my own yet, but I hope to in the future. These are all good choices. And all of these are the best printer for a certain user and for certain use cases. I'm sure you want to hear all about the elephant of the room too, or rather the one in the room next door, but it's the same story. The Prusa XL is coming, and it doesn't change the message at all. It's big, it's expensive, reputably reliable, but it doesn't make the Bamboo or even the Mark III obsolete. Prusa's not going to stop selling the Mini because they sell a bigger printer. Different printer, different market, different audience. If you often need to print things that are like the size of the Bamboo, uh, it's 360 millimeters cubic, you're going to want to seriously look at an XL, because, uh, yeah, it's bigger. If you never need anything that size, well, it's probably not worth the premium for it. Remember, 3D printing is about taking, like, <laughs> miles of this thin spaghetti and turning it into wonderful things. Like, the parts you get out of the printer, that's the point of this. Anyways, I hope that's helpful. Whatever you do, please, print happy. Happy printing? <laughs>